What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One and today I am joined by the one and only Dolan. Say hi Dolan. Howdy guys. And the mighty Tidmouth. Say hi Tidmouth. Oh, mighty, how dare you. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, today uh, we're just going to be running some trains, I think. Um, we need to get a little bit of everything to everywhere. We need logs from the uh, logging camp to the sawmill. We need cordwood down here to the smelter. We need the products from the sawmill up to the mine. And we need the ore, of course, down here to the, to the, sawmill, or to the smelter as well. So, with that being said, uh, we have three trains, we have three drivers, uh, we can all take a different locomotive, different train, we can team it up, uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys and whatever you guys want to do, and I'll just fill the holes, how about that? That works for me. Yeah, I mean, I've warmed up the Betsy so I can do uh, log trains with the, what's the name, cars, skeleton cars. The skeleton cars, okay. Yeah. And Dolan, what do you want to do? Well, it doesn't really matter to me. I can do whatever. Um, I can go get cordwood since we need it. Okay. Um, I'm and not I'll... sure where. I know the cordwood cars are over at the freight depot. Um, what locomotive do you want? I can use error. Okay. I think error is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Tidmouth error is at the sawmill? Yeah, the sawmill. Awesome. Then I will take, I'll take trial. And I'm going to do a trial. It's like, trial's not really strong enough to pull uh, the wood products from, this, from the sawmill to the mine. So I'm just going to keep running, I guess, or... I can do, but I can do both. Because I'm pretty sure the Cook Mogul should be able to be able to take both. derailed <laughs> how'd that happen I was checking my brakes and all of a sudden boom <laughs> ah great off to a great start how many steak flats do we have I think there's eight of them so four so four cars of each yeah, that and should then. that should do it. Uh, it's a it's a tough climb. It'll buff. I'll make it work. <laughs> Famous that. last words, guys. Famous last words. Yeah, it was weird when I was doing it last time I played. When I did it with half and half, it went perfectly fine. But any other combination, just everything seemed to go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm about to be adding cordwood to the mix, so... Alright, finally got my train put back together. And... We're heading up the mountain. Hopefully. That was weird.
I do like we finally got a speedometer. Yes. Now we know exactly how fast not to go. Exactly. <laughs> doesn't doesn't mean it's gonna stop me, but that's besides the point. Okay, yeah. so how steep is the climb outside of the iron, uh, or not the iron, the uh, logging camp? The logging camp to where? The logging camp, the the plateau, and then the valley down to the smelter. Oh, to the smelter. Mm -hmm. uh, the climb up is at three percent. What is the climb like from? The smelter to, I think the lot are uh, the iron mine. It's mostly at two percent, I believe. Okay, that's my route. That's the way I'm going. Because at two percent, the locomotive is good for quite a bit of weight. So as long as it is two percent, should be fine and dandy. Okay. I'll be running on the same line, so just let me know uh, where you're at. And I'll have to be at one of the either the iron mine or the smelter when you're on the line. Because we yet to have a passing track. <laughs> As I told y'all, we need it. <laughs> but no, nobody listens to Dolwyn because apparently my ideas aren't the best. That is a joke. Purely a joke. Uh huh. I don't sense the animosity at all. <laughs> I love. Really, really do love the whole um, new uh, engine machine works. Yeah, so do I. It looks it looks awesome. And somebody commented uh, that. Uh, probably inside the smelter. <laughs> um, I, we actually do know where it's at. It's outside of the map. Oh. And apparently the crane in it is functioning. Oh, really? That's what I've heard from, I think it was Pharma? Pharma said it was functioning. I'm surprised y'all didn't go with the, the coal. 260 coal. So we're not up at the uh, coal mine yet. Probably won't be for a while. Well, here's the thing: the coal on those things lasts forever. Uh huh. A little bit of realism, you know, trying to keep a little bit of realism in the game. All right, I'm arriving at the iron ore mine. I am at the freight depot. I was very wary of that switch that I'm in front of, and I know Tim said that he set all the switches, but I got scared. When I saw the handle of the switch and was like, I'm not sure if that's set correctly. No, I don't want to go in reverse. Yeah, the, the three ways are deceptive. Because <laughs> the handle goes the, the opposite way to the way you'd expect. Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, I've heard from several people, the handle is facing in the right direction. It's actually... I mean, yeah, when you, when, you, when you look at the mechanism, it makes sense, but... <laughs> You'd think like the like with the two ways, which is the lever points to the direction you're going to go. Right. The the biggest thing is that they just need to really, I mean, really fix the client side bugs because we I feels like we've got more. Yeah, I definitely feel like in the last couple of updates, the render distance has got even shorter. Yes. But I've I've mostly only ever been a host, so I've never really noticed. <laughs> I can see our singular log car we had. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, I think it'll probably be best that we keep it and then use it when we go to do uh, pipes later on. Sure. We don't, get any, we don't get anything for demolishing it, so I'm just... Just kept it. Yeah, it kind of sucks that you should at least get like scrap value or something. Right. I'm hoping, hoping that we get some details about Century of Steam this weekend. You pretty excited for uh, that game? I am, mainly because it's Heist. Heist is the main person behind it, and 
I just enjoy all of Heist's content. So it's... It's funny, you've never brought him up before. Really? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely no animosity again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if my experience playing train simulators is anything to go by, I probably shouldn't ever get a job with, like, <laughs> driving trains. So I just have YouTube up on my other other screen, just, like, <laughs> watching a video while I'm trying to drive. See, I've act I actually played Train Sim World and try and act not use the heads-up display. So... I don't know. It's not, I, 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 have, I have tried to do that a couple of times. It's just, I, found, it's just, I just always find there's just too much stuff to, that I have to like look at. So I just... Yeah. I found out that uh, the, rail, the railroads here in the States, they actually use, for their locomotive training and stuff like that, they actually use simulators and stuff like that. Oh, sure. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure Train Sim was the one that they used the most. Yeah, I think I saw a video from somebody like going into like the driver training center in the UK and they were using train simulator. <laughs> so I was just looking at it, I was like, oh, hey, I've driven on that map. <laughs> <laughs> just and think it'd be funny if just if there was ever a situation where you're on a train uh, this like I don't know the conductor comes out just like the driver's like collapsed and we, we like we, we, we need another driver does somebody know how to drive this train and they're like I do <laughs> so when we derailed uh trial back in like back like two three episodes ago I I put smells like Kenosha over it just because that felt right um <clears throat> heist <clears throat> yeah <laughs> and i don't know what my thing was about it i was just like man this like this fits really well for a kenosha moment so that's what i did and i realized tinmouth had told us the sw the switch was set right and he blatantly lied to us no, 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 I didn't lie. <laughs> I I hadn't noticed the other switch. <laughs> the one I was looking at was set correctly. <laughs> I have a slight problem. I have many problems. I am stuck trying to push a load of heavy iron ore in reverse up a 3%. Uh, with an underpowered locomotive. Last time I was able to do it, I, it crawled up the hill. But, uh, yeah, not not this time. It is stuck, stuck. I cannot move. Well, error should be coming up there sooner rather than later. Um, but both of us are on the other side of the map right now, so it yeah. can't really help. So I figured I'll, I'm gonna try and get it get it going here. I probably just got to find a flat spot. You know, I, I'm kind of on a little bit of a curve. Maybe I might go down a little bit and try and get it turned around or, or something here. I don't know. Yeah, I should have put a D-roll counter on the, the last episode. I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm moving in reverse. Holy hell! Let's go. <laughs> Oh yeah, we had the, the weirdest double header last time as well. <laughs> I saw. Yeah, was somebody with a brake on their locomotive, 100%. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't be me, because I wasn't there. Yeah, I wonder who that was. was yeah. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Oh no. Come on, push. I'm just right at the top of the hill and I just came to a stop like I hit a, a rock on the rail or something. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're stuck. Uh, it's appearing to be that way. Yeah. Damn, he done pulled a Gordon. Well, well, no, I'm still going uh, real slow. Nope, it's just kind of bouncing. Darn it. Uh, I'm surprised you hadn't put, uh, pointed out down on my, my last thumbnail. I put uh, Gordon's face on the yeah, <laughs> on I know. The error. I know. I I watched. I did I not like, notice that. Man, I wasn't even in the video when I noticed that. Well, it's Thomas, so surprise. <laughs> what is going on? I would love to take the pass up, but I can guarantee you I'm not going to make it. <laughs> if I was to make it, that'd be a miracle. But the high, the likelihood of it is slim. If you're fair, I feel like you're probably going to struggle going up the uh, the other way. Well, I mean, am I going to make it? I don't have the train calculator. Does somebody else have that? I can pull it up in a minute. Give me just a second here. Okay, because we'll have six cards of cordwood and eight, four cars of beams and four cars of lumber. Okay. Trying something else. I'm trying to get up this hill with an underpowered locomotive pushing in reverse. Physics is not on my side. Well, your first issue is the fact you're going in reverse. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> Why uh, didn't you turn around? Uh, I, that's exactly what I was doing. I was literally oh. turning around. And in order to turn around up here, you have to go downhill forward and then back up uphill. It's an awesome design. It's part of the accidental death and this dismemberment, um, you know, SOPs. Let me get this straight. Your cars are loaded, aren't they? Yes. It's standard operating procedure. I mean, you're supposed to do things the hard way. Evil one. <laughs> I, I will come and save you, but you got to remember. I'm good. I, I, okay. It's just I get up there and he's still struggling to revert or to hit the reverse loop. I'm, I'm working on it here. I'm I'm speeding up in reverse. I'm going, going okay. I'm doing two miles an hour now. Hopefully, I have enough momentum now this time to get me up over this little bit of a hump. Man, two miles an hour. Uh, one cup. Oh. oh, three miles an hour. Here we go. Yep, about that. Right, so... You got four and four, then you got... One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. <laughs> I, I know what's going to happen here. And it's not going to be very great. Um, tab, join company. Should be part of the okay. So if I had the money, I'd buy I'd buy a Eureka, shove it on the back, but I don't. I mean, the calculator is showing all green, but I never know whether I'm using it right, to be honest. I'll, I'll check in just a second here. I'm getting up over this hump. Which I think I actually did. Hey, look at that. <laughs> well, that took entirely too long. I'm going to come to a stop here, pull up the calculator for you. Good enough, buddy. Am I good to pull ahead? Uh, yes. Oh my god, that's his pop warning light map. Chill. 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 
Look, telling the Betsy what to do ain't gonna work. Uh. Already. Oh, break. Break, break, break. <laughs> Holy. That would be bad. I, do I smell a Kenosha? Uh, almost. I, I almost went back down the hill. I just spent several minutes crawling up. Okay, let's see here. Uh... One of those. Uh, hot car. And going up at three percent, you say? Uh, try three percent. Will it do a three percent? And how many flat uh, cordwood cars do you have? We have six cordwood cars. And they're all full. Four. Mm hmm. Four beams. And four lumber. Tenmouth, do I need to move ahead more? Uh, no, you should be good. Okay. Yeah, let me check over there everything else. Make sure everything else is zeroed out. Okay, so I have the Cook 260 Wood pulling uh, eight flat state cars, four with lumber, four with beams, and six cordwood cars loaded and you're not going to be able to do it up the the pass yeah up a three percent you're eighty one thousand pounds overweight damn um okay let's try <laughs> let's try so the max on the iron mine line is two i believe so okay yeah, because I know definitely I can't get... <laughs> Betsy's not going to be able to push me up the hill. So at 2%, you're in the green on that. Awesome. All right. But at 3%, yeah, I know you're screwed. <laughs> um, the path that you were referring to from the, from the sawmill to the iron mine, is that the one you're asking about? Yeah. Oh, no, that's 3%. All right, then. I, I thought you said smelter to the iron mine before. Okay, yeah. so how steep is the climb outside of the iron? Uh, or not the iron, the uh, logging camp? The logging camp to where? The logging camp, the, the plateau, and then the valley down to the smelter. Oh, to the smelter? Mm -hmm. uh, the climb up is at 3%. What is the climb like from the smelter to, I think, the, lo uh, the iron mine? It's mostly at 2%, I believe. Okay, that's my route. That's the way I'm going. So they're both 3%. It's from the uh, logging... You asked me for logging camp to the smelter. That's 3% initially. Okay. And then the smelter to the iron mine, that's 2%. That's Millsy's line. That should be 2%. But the path from the sawmill to the iron mine is 3%. Well, at least you're there. Um... I'm heading out. I'm heading down to the smelter. <laughs> Hey, Tidmith, do you want to give me a push? <laughs> I don't know how, how much bets you would be able to help if you're like 21,000 over capacity. 61,000 pounds over capacity. I can check. Hang, hang on one second. I'll uh, I'll pull up the numbers here. If you add, because I think you can add a Betsy to the mix, can't you? Yes. So, so Porter's 040. Alive, one. Uh, no, you're still 13,000 pounds overweight. Almost 14,000 pounds overweight. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> we can tr do like a triple header. I'll drop this load right here and come meet you guys. Because as long as I can get down to the smelter, because I'm over, I'm over at the the sawmill now 
So I mean, as long if, as I, if I come and hook up to I'm your a, train a and we do like uh, three engines, three locomotives, it's 172,000 pounds in the green, up a 3%. I think we wouldn't even need the Betsy. I think we'd be fine with the Glenbrook and the Cook Mogul. Yeah, we would be fine. Because a train of this size, I've done before with the Eureka and the... Okay, well, give me a second. Um, see, I'm debating. I dropped the load here. It's going to be in the way. I can take this down to the smelter and just park it down there, and then come that'd be your you. fastest. Yeah, that'd be your fastest. All right, well, it's, that's what I'll do. I'm probably going to regret my decisions. About joining us tonight? Uh, no. <laughs> About <laughs> taking this train up the hill. <laughs> I am almost like at a standstill on this hill. And let me guess, you're about three feet up it. <laughs> no, actually, I've made it past the second bridge. Nice. And I'm on the third. If the render distance was good enough for clients, I'd probably be able to see him in the distance there. But <laughs> Views of my video, he's there. I'm waving my mouse around <laughs> where he <laughs> probably is. <laughs> I do not see him. I'm moving like... Kind of foggy. I'm at two miles an hour and I'm going. Oh, well, at least you're going. It's varying between one and two miles per hour. The locomotive is trying. And that or does it. I'm gonna throw the tender brake on. Yeah. I was crossing. You've already crossed Mammoth Bridge. He's oh, not well. going that way. <laughs> oh, you're not going that way. Uh, oh, you're going up from the logging camp. Going that way, right? To the smelter? Yep. Gotcha. I think on client side, my cordwood cars are rolling away. <laughs> I'm almost down to the smelter. I just crossed over the waterfall. Fly inside. Oh, yes. My train has like destroyed itself. And during this time, I have the time to make a sandwich. Probably. I gotta park this train and come find you. In reverse. We discovered that one. We can't. Uh, do nose to nose. Well, that kind of makes sense, because unless you have like a special pin to link the two, like yeah, tow bars together. Yeah. And even then, that probably wouldn't be a particularly good link because you could just. It'd be kind of weak, as far yeah. as the uh, side to side flexing. <laughs> Here I come. Oh, I forget how fast this locomotive is without a bunch of iron ore behind it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 25 miles an hour fast. That's the breakneck speed at 25 miles an hour. 
I just had the, ch the locomotive up on one one side, up on two wheels, if you will. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Tony Hawk's pro skater with trains. <laughs> up. You have your bar up. Well, I can't see my train. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I've got my lantern out and I've got the bar up. Okay. Uh, I think I see ya. See a green glow back there anyway. Yeah, the marker lights on the back of the... What is it with me and seeing this thing roll away? <laughs> Angry. The Calvary is here. Your rescue. Ah, too much break. A little bit further. A little further. Capture. All right, reverse or forward brake is off. Full regular brake is off. <laughs> brake <Yeah>. off. <laughs> Let me make sure my tender brake is off. It is not. There we go. Look at this. going on, Tidmouth? Three-way, wasn't that right? Uh-oh. L. Do you need help? No, uh, I should be alright. I only derailed the loco in one of the cars. You'll be okay. I hope. So I think this is the 3% we just hit. The rest of that was kind of 2%. Then why did I stall? Uh, that's a good question. Don't know. Are you actually getting in and out of your locomotive? Yes. This I'm turning off the the, the lamp. Ah. Uh, it's not lighting up my cab. <laughs> Ooh. Well, only the locomotive on the front is supposed to have the lamp. Right. This is narrow gauge, though. <laughs> and just for that, I turned both mine on. And the AD&D. &D. <laughs> it's 
So we need to look as goofy as possible while doing this. <laughs> Shoot! Shoot. <laughs> okay, well, we're getting ready to head downhill now. You don't have marker lights, do you? I don't think so. This should be a piece of cake. Going downhill should be a piece of cake. You can unhitch me if you want. You're gonna unload. I'm trying that. to. I'm trying to. I'm a. I'm a. Uh, throw on my brake. Just to slow down just a tiny little bit. And we're unhitched. Bye. Oh, I slowed down too much. <laughs> it's got a healthy push. <laughs> Would you like me to set your switches, Dolan, so you can offload that cordwood? Yes. Okay. Oops. Actually, I have I have an idea. That doesn't. Sound Here's good. what I need you to do. I'm gonna run back there and unhook the cordwood train. <laughs> Okay. If I can make it back there. And what we'll do is I'll speed up coming down through the yard. Okay, I'm listening. Um, I gotta save my train first. Give me a second. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. How's that speeding up going? <laughs> Actually, I might be able to make it. All right, I need you to set me on the track next to... Next to... Um, set me on the track... Or the, the track to get me off of the... Cordwood unloading track. Okay. I'm going to manually set a brake. I don't know what you're doing. I think he's attempting to do a slip, but uh, yeah. might not go well because he's got like two feet before the junction and he hasn't even uncoupled it yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> actually, I did just, uncouple, believe it or not. He's already passed, yeah. Bye. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Dolan. You can, uh, you can do something. You can do something. Okay, right, right, right? Definitely something. <laughs> There's something. That's for sure. Why don't you go catch your train? I'll take care of these cordwood cars. Um, I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> uh, 
can you teleport me on one of the log cars, please? You can use a... Uh... Oh crap! <laughs> there is a there is a an office. Okay, yeah, I got that. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Are the are the switches set correctly this time? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's coming towards you down the middle track. Thank God. <laughs> uh, nothing like a last minute plan. <laughs> I very, still didn't have to stop. A very well thought out. It's so difficult to stop, you know, these trains. <laughs> oh, I have like zero fuel. <laughs> that could be why I wasn't speeding up. Or it could be because I threw my regulator on and I shouldn't have. Climb that hill. Or, I, I just crossed my bridge and I'm heading on for the rest of uh, Millsy's line. Actually, believe it or not, most of my line, the section that I made, is actually flat. Flat to like 1%. And that's it. And then I think Millsy's from that point forward, which I'm just about to hit. Is. I know Millsy said he built this line at 2%. It just don't feel like it, though. Pretty sure it's I 2%. Keep, I think for the most part it is 2%, but I keep, like, getting dips. And, like, I keep slowing down and then speeding back up, slowing down. Oh, there are curves. Yeah, but even then I should still be able to make it without that. Unloading the cordwood. That went fast. About three, three fourths of the way to the iron mine. Not three fourths. Uh, oh, no, nah, I'd say about two thirds. More like two thirds. Tidmouth, how you doing? Uh, I'm starting up train number three. I think this should fill up the, uh, the log. Awesome.
try to try and start the wagon as well. One car. Half car. That's probably good. <laughs> are you standing over here like, where are you? <laughs> I was actually about to give it the tools the same time. <laughs> you just kept, kept cancelling me out. <laughs> You can control the cranes from the tool. Yeah, you click on the little grey dots on the, uh, on the map. Oh. Yeah, that was, a, that was a feature that got added when they added the uh, automatic cranes. Oh, I see. Shoot, I didn't know that. Alright, I'm going to do a reverse into the little loop here. Is your switches set good, Tidmouth? Yep, should be. Right on. I just gotta make sure the uh, the cook don't run away again. It's a heavy train for little old Betsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she needs to get up to a maximum of ten on the flat. <laughs> it's not until we go downhill that she gets up to full speed. <laughs> Isn't Betsy's like top speed like sixteen? Yeah, but she can't, she can't seem to manage it with the full train of logs. You know what's funny <laughs> is that I'm pretty sure the Cook Mobile's top speed is like 18. Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I do appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' help. Uh, Tidmouth and Dolan uh, hauling trains today. It, it was fun. We definitely had, had uh, some issues climbing some grades. Uh, me and Reverse and... Uh, Dolan trying to pull a very long train. Hey, I thought it was going to work. <laughs> so, we're going to take this last train to the to the sawmill and get it offloaded here. Um, Dolan, do you have any parting words of wisdom? Um, as of right now, as it stands, I don't know how many more episodes I'll be able to record with y'all. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be able to record, um, some episodes while I'm down south too. Awesome. So now you're going down for uh, conductor school. Yes, conductor school in McDonald's. Right on. Well, good luck with that for sure. And uh, we'll try to get you in when when you're available. So. Yeah, I know. I know at least a couple nights out of the week. If I'm lucky, I'll have the four four to one a.m. shift, or I'll have the the seven to four. Then my evening is free as long as I get enough sleep. I should be fine. But I, I don't not know when I'm leaving yet, so we can we can probably get another episode in before I leave. Okay. So. We'll we'll try. Tidmouth, thank you so much for driving these log trains today. Uh, do you have what? any uh, parting words of wisdom? Well, just the. Uh the usual just the plea for people to like comment subscribe and hit the join button if they're feeling so inclined i yeah. very much appreciate it absolutely and uh those are excellent words of wisdom right there you took the words right out of my mouth so remember don't pull a dolan and try to do what i did what'd you do you try to take that train up at three percent oh <laughs> eh, it happens our company motto one of many anyway that's gonna do it for this episode thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye for now bye, -bye. bye, -bye.